The weather was part of the story today, but there was some other news uh, that a lot of people were talking about. We're going to bring in Ryan Bretton to talk a little bit more about that earthquake earlier today. Yeah, Keith, uh, your phone blew up, mine <laughs> blew up just uh, before 1030 this morning with this earthquake that a lot of people felt not only here in southern and central Maine, but across all of New England, too. I went back and scrubbed through some of the webcams, and this is at Nubble Light. You see it right there. That wasn't wind. That was at the time the earthquake occurred and the shock waves traveling away from that earthquake which was centered just offshore of York Harbor, about six miles southeast, 1023 this morning, just seconds before that time. It was a 3.8 magnitude and it had a depth of about eight miles. Now, part of the reason uh, this earthquake was felt fairly far from the epicenter is that it was a shallow earthquake. Our earthquakes here in New England usually are fairly shallow and can be felt farther from the epicenter. Also, our bedrock is older, a little bit more fragile, and those shock waves can spread away from the epicenter of an earthquake here on the East Coast in a little bit of a different fashion than they do on the West Coast, even though they get stronger earthquakes there. This is a look at the reported shaking into the USGS. You can see most of the reports coming in around York County down toward the North Shore of Massachusetts. But expanding it out, it was felt as far away as nearly Burlington, Vermont, people in Connecticut, and also also in the Bangor area, people felt this shaking today. I just heard a noise. I didn't feel any shaking and I've never felt an earthquake before. So Brian and Amanda, I guess I'll have to wait for the next one. Who knows when that will be? Yeah, the rest <laughs> of us just have to look at the data on yeah. this one. All right, Ryan, thanks so much.